It's time for today's travel and cruise industry news. With the latest from travel and cruises around the world, here's your host, Chili Falls. Good morning. Welcome to a special broadcast of Will Power Chair and Scoot Around Saturday Travel and Cruise Industry News on this, the seventh day of January 2023. Allure of the Seas boarding times adjusted is our top story this morning. Guests booked on a number of sailings for Allure of the Seas have been notified about pushing back their boarding times by one hour and advised that the ship will also set sail one hour later than originally scheduled. We'll be back with the details after a word from one of our network sponsors. All right, in an email sent out to um, all the affected guests, the email said space in the terminal can only accommodate a specific number of guests, so those who arrive sooner will be turned away and asked to return during their new time to avoid overcrowding in the terminal. Guests that disregard the adjusted times and arrive early may be required to wait outdoors in all types of weather conditions. In July and August, for example, in Texas, it can be hot, really hot. So not would not be the best thing to do to have to sit around outside in Galveston. The lure of the seas homeported in Galveston is sailing from Royal Caribbean International's new 161,000 square foot cruise terminal, which has facial recognition software for customs and passport screenings, as well as other updated features to support a smoother, faster, more efficient embarkation and debarkation process. So what is behind the delay? Could be a number of things. The Lure of the Seas is the fifth largest sea in the world, welcoming as many as 6,700 guests, if fully booked with all berths filled. With so many guests on board each sailing, it may be taking longer than initially anticipated to process baggage through the terminal to be collected, or there may be staffing concerns at the terminal without enough personnel to process baggage, handle customs and passport checks, and otherwise complete the necessary duties for debarkation and the following embarkation. It's also possible that not all security checkpoints or other necessary technology are working at, at a full capacity, slightly slowing the steps for processing passengers. Delays could result um, from issues on board the ship, perhaps lower staffing rates for stateroom stewards that make it more challenging to turn over all 2,742 staterooms in time for the new guests to arrive. A slight embarkation delay can then provide more time for essential housekeeping chores, which can make it possible for more guests to go directly to their staterooms when they board. Finally, it's also possible that the cruise line could be testing more relaxed debarkation process, permitting guests on board more time to enjoy the final morning on their cruise before they have to get off the ship. Regardless of the reason, it's important that all passengers booked on Allure of the Seas, or for that matter, any other cruise ship, stay in close contact with the cruise line for embarkation time updates and other adjustments as their sailing date approaches. And please, folks, always adhere to the times given you for embarkation. I regularly post videos on all facets of the travel and cruise industry, so if you like to keep up with the latest in cruise ships, 
ports of call, cruises themselves, chilly chats, and travel and cruise industry news, just hit the little subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when a new video is up or we go live. This video was produced by Chili's Cruises.